King paid a visit to a bomber command station in Britain where, as usual, pilots and crews were preparing for an offensive flight over enemy territory. Maps of the area which was to form that night's program in the bombing plan were examined by the King, but otherwise the work of the station went on exactly as on any other night. One objective marked out for the attack from this station was Cologne. The men for whom the night's drama is just about to begin are being briefed, receiving final instructions. Last minute report on the weather comes over the phone. Incidentally, these men have been recruited since the war began, but there's still room for plenty more. All set, and the crews turn out into the black night to go roaring across a blacker continent to drop their bombs on a pinpoint on the map. The King stayed at the station while the raid over distant Germany was in progress. The nervous time of waiting for those left behind was past examining photographs of damage done in previous raids until the crews came back with a job well done. Some report on high explosives shattering the railway marshalling yards. In this war it must be very depressing to be a marshalling yard. There is the story of anti-aircraft fire that churned the sky into a sea of metal. But every report is the record of another deadly blow aimed at the heart of Britain's enemies. Another crew has come back from Berlin. Here also, railway yards have been learning the power of the Royal Air Force. But most of them have known of it for a long time. And they will continue to learn about it in the most practical way. Germany is having her own baptism of fire. 